Hello students, today we are going to discuss Hoban-Hoss reaction. This is, uh, is an extension of Gutterman's aldehyde synthesis as we have discussed it in the last video. In this reaction, alkyl cyanide is used in place of HCN. This reaction is used by most highly activated aromatic compounds like uh, dihydric or polyhydric phenols. This reaction involves uh, treatment of dihydric or polyhydric phenol with the alkyl cyanide in presence of zinc chloride and HCl. The product on hydrolysis yields a phenolic ketone. This is the most important thing. This is the phenolic ketone which is obtained. First, we are going to discuss about the reaction. So, we have taken here the compound uh, resorcinol uh, that is uh, this compound we are having the phenolic compound which is having dihydric compound dihydric phenol so this is treated with the alkyl cyanide methyl cyanide uh, we are taking methyl cyanide and a zinc chloride and a zinc chloride and hcl uh, this is treated with the resorcinol to form this uh, intermediate here so this is the c double bond en h so which on acid hydrolysis we are getting a formulated product this is the which on acid hydrolysis we are getting a formulated product in this one we are getting uh, two types of a product whether one is the ortho product and another one is a, a para product or generally ortho products are obtained because of this uh, hydrogen bonding intramolecular hydrogen bonding ortho product is obtained as a major because because of intramolecular hydrogen bonding so the hauben hoss reaction provides method for indirect ring acylation of polyhydric phenols so mechanism we are going to discuss here step one alkyl cyanide and zinc chloride react to form unstable carbocation intermediate so here we have the alkyl cyanide r is an alkyl uh, or an aryl group we can just take the alkyl cyanide as i have taken the methyl cyanide so this is the hydrogen which we are having that is nothing but as hcl so the carbon is having a four bonds nitrogen is having a three bonds here and a lone pair of electrons the lone pair of electrons are given to this hydrogen to form nh bond so here we have the nh and uh, r c triple bond n h so these two electrons are taken to this nitrogen uh, taken to the nitrogen because to make it stabilize so the carbon get the positively charged and the chlorine atom will be as it is as we have taken the hcl next one step two electrophile attacks the dihydric or polyhydric phenols to give the product so here we have the dihydric phenol which we are having so this is the ortho position which is we are having so the two electrons are pushed to the benzene ring and these two electrons will be getting so here i can just show you and here we are getting a negatively negative charge so this negative charge it will attack to this electrophile so this electrophile which we are having that is a carbon is attached at the ortho position ortho position we are having r double bond nh as it is now to make it stabilize the benzene ring is unstable to make it stabilize the hydrogen is eliminated as we know it every benzene ring that is every carbon atom is having an hydrogen so similarly here one hydrogen is there that hydrogen is eliminated by uh, leaving the two electrons and the two electrons are taking part to form a bond here the bond is formed here this is the bond is formed here so so the hydrogen is here and eliminated and the two electrons are pushed to the oxygen so here we, we are getting the the positive charges uh, removed to get this lone pair of electron these are the lone pair of electrons which are obtained here so next one uh, the hydrogen is just eliminated to form a ring stable now this is uh, treated with the acid hydrolysis so when it is treated with the acid hydrolysis that is acid uh, water molecule so here if we just uh, remove like this okay so water molecule is there you can write it h2o that is h plus and oh minus in this one the o here it is uh, just i will write it here this is the o and here it forms the h2 so h2 is the this is the h2 so it remains with the nitrogen h2 
H2, so it remains with the nitrogen that is NH, NH3, and this NH3 and this H hydrogen to form NH4, and the Cl which is obtained here, this is the Cl, this Cl forms the NH4Cl, and this O will form the double bond O here, so it forms the aldehyde, this is sorry, ketone. This is the form it's the ketone if we alkyl group is hydrogen then it is aldehyde so that is the gutterman's reaction hobonos reaction gives nothing but as alkyl cyanide so here this is the r which is obtained so this r may be methyl or any ethyl groups are there so here we are getting this ketonic group so this is the product which is obtained this reaction is called hobonos reaction study well students Thank you.